20 Tips to Organize Your Refrigerator If you keep your refrigerator neat and well organized, it will tell on the quality of how your food turns out. Most homes can't even remember the food we have stored in the refrigerator because everything is packed so messily. The food later gets rotten and we throw it away. Keep your refrigerator organized and you'll have a minimal waste of food. Here are 20 tips to help you with that. Number 20. Classify the types of food. Classifying all the foods you keep in your refrigerator is going to make it easier to reach them when you want to eat them. It will also make the refrigerator look tidy and pleasant to anyone that opens the door. Depending on how spacious your refrigerator is, you can use small baskets or bowls to classify the food. Use small plastic plates if your fridge is on the smaller side. Number 19. Store seasonal greens in jars. Store your salads inside jars to keep them fresh. The jars will not only keep them fresh, but will also make the fridge look organized. Use jars and not plastics to store your salads so that vegetables can get some space. Remember to sprinkle some water in the jar to make the salad stay fresh. Create a weekly schedule to drain the water and replace it a few times so that the salads do not go sour. Keep your salad jars on the side of the fridge. Number 18. Use egg holders. Most refrigerators already come with pre-installed egg holders, but many people do not know how to use the egg holders in the right manner. When eggs are all over the wrong place, it makes the refrigerator look untidy. Fix in one more egg holder if you have to, to keep all of your eggs away from other things in the refrigerator. Arrange the eggs properly in the egg holders to prevent them from getting cracked, especially when there are many things in the fridge. Number 17. Defrost the fridge. It is very important to keep an eye on the freezer in your refrigerator. You may need to defrost the refrigerator regularly to prevent an accumulation of ice in the freezer. If you allow ice to accumulate inside, it may be difficult to thaw out. A buildup of ice will also keep dirt inside your fridge. Turn off the fridge to make defrosting easier. Number 16. Use binder clips for bagged goods. You should keep all your leftover food in the refrigerator so that they won't have to spoil. You can use your binder clips to store things in a bag and keep in the refrigerator. Attach the binder clips on the space and opening of the bag. Keep the food at the bottom of the shelves. It's guaranteed to last longer with the bag secured. Number 15. Clean your fridge. When you have stocked all the food you want inside your fridge, it has to look good and smell good always. The only way this can happen is if the fridge is clean and free from microorganisms. Keep your fridge hygienic on the inside and outside. There are existing products like rosemary and lemon to help you with that, though you may have to choose to make your own products, whichever one works for you. Number 14. Use magazine holders. If your fridge is spacious, you can try using magazine holders to keep things organized. You can store any type of food in a magazine holder. Put as much food as each holder can hold, cover and then label the body. This way you don't have to forget what's in each one. Magazine holders look better when arranged vertically. Arrange them tidily inside the fridge. Number 13. Label the side doors. Labeling is very effective in keeping things organized in the refrigerator. You can use labels on the door as well as if you keep your food in there. Most refrigerator doors can hold any kind of food package from jars to bottles to cans. Label your spices, seasoning, ketchup, and sauces accordingly and arrange them on the door. Number 12. Make expiration dates. This is for non-packaged foods like eggs and vegetables that have no producer suggested expiry date. Write your own expiry date on them so they don't go stale before you realize it. It is possible for you to forget to eat foods that come with expiry dates on the pack. You can remind yourself by rewriting them boldly. You should be conscious of the freshness of your food to minimize wastage. Know what you have in the fridge and when they go bad. Number 11. Use magnetic tins. If you like having magnetic materials on the door of your fridge, then it would also be a good idea to have magnets in your food jars or cans. The food holders must be magnetic for this to work. You can put magnets under your snack box and turn it horizontally to give you easy access to the snacks. Number 10. Plastic wraps for meat. It is unhygienic to store meat directly in the fridge without using any covering or layer. Always use plastic wraps over your meat before putting them in the fridge. The plastic wraps will also help keep the meat from messing up other food. 
It is always helpful to attach a label on the meat that you have in your fridge for easy identification. Keep your meat sterile always. Number 9. Maximize the bottom shelf Most refrigerators come with two or more shelves, so it's in your best interest to maximize all the space available in yours. The bottom shelf is ideal for keeping fruits and raw meat. If you have any leftovers from these, it is best you keep them on the bottom shelf so they don't go to waste. Fruits, vegetables, and meat tend to go bad once they're half-eaten quickly. Dedicate a separate space on the bottom shelf for the half-eaten food so they won't get mixed up with the new food. Number 8. Keep milk out of the door Still on the things that you can do with your door, here is something you shouldn't do. Storing milk on the side of the door. Because you'll be opening the door of your fridge often, the temperature there will keep changing constantly and the milk will quickly go bad. Milk in every kind of package should be stored inside the main compartment to prevent wastage. Number 7. Maximize your fridge wall if all the space in your fridge has been occupied and you still have things to store, you can use the walls. But you have to find something that can hold the food on the wall. The food has to be light as well as the holder. A small basket or a bucket will be fine. Number 6. Label your foods This is almost similar to the one before. When you have all of your food classified and arranged in their proper places, it would also be helpful to label all of the foods you are going to eat soon. Putting a label on them will help you decide what you'll eat first so that you can make space for your other foods. Be certain to label opened and half-eaten cans and put them aside so other foods can go in. Number 5. Line the shelves Use plastic wraps or film to cover the shelves so that it will be easier for you to clean out your fridge. When the coverings get messed, you only have to remove and throw them away. Patiently take out everything that you have in the fridge first before laying the covering. Choose coverings that are attractive but also sticky to make it tidier. Number 4. Remove any unnecessary shelves There is no need to keep shelves that you won't have much use for inside the fridge. If you remove them, you will end up with more space to store your food and products. Remove all unnecessary shelves and rearrange your food well in the extra space. Number 3. Use a bottle opener your organization should not exclude the outside of your fridge. If yours looks plain, you can pimp it up a little bit by placing a bottle opener somewhere on it. You may also add a few colorful magnets of varying shapes and sizes if you like. Just do something with all the blank areas of the door of your fridge. Placing a bottle opener on your fridge will also make it more convenient to open bottles without sacrificing your teeth or hands. Number 2. Use Dry Erase Markers Use dry erase markers to write all of the things relating to your fridge that you intend to do or have already done. Ensure that you are not using a permanent marker so that you can always erase the writings and not cause a mess on your surface of your fridge. This is a great idea to help you not forget your groceries and to-do lists. And last, number one, take a photo of your fridge. This last step should not be taken any less seriously than the others, even though it is pretty simple. As a matter of fact, this ordinary action can turn out to be the most important thing. When you're grocery shopping, make it a habit of taking a photo of the things you already have in your fridge. When you get to the store, check the photo carefully before you buy anything so that you won't end up with things you already have. Keep the fridge wide open so you can get a full capture. Take photos from various angles so you don't miss anything, and then capture all the shelves individually from those for meat and veggies to those on the door of the fridge. And done! If you enjoy our list, press the like or share button under this video. Or better yet, comment on it with your wisdom and suggestions. Lastly, press the subscribe button if this channel is new to you. See you again later for more lists and thanks for watching.